morning. This is smartwatchspecifications.com, the premier site for smartwatch specs, news, and reviews. Okay, we are here on another video review of the latest smartwatch from number one, DT number one. We have the number one DT 30, 36 smartwatch. Okay, a sport smartwatch loaded with of course sport functions and health and fitness features okay so right now we're going to check on the smartwatch we are going to install the support app and check if what are the additional features available in the support app okay if you are new to smartwatch specifications youtube channel check out the first two video of the number one dt36 smartwatch the unboxing and checking of its specs and the other one is the checking of its menus and its functions the icons here the ui okay we already showed it here in our youtube channel so check it out or you might check the links below Okay, so again, this is the number one DT36 smartwatch. So we're going to install it with a with the support app from available from for Android and iOS. Okay, so again, see the smartwatch is compatible with Android and iOS. So if you want to install the support app, you have to check out the QR code for the smartwatch. So let's check it out. So we have here the QR code. It is available in iOS. So we have here it is the Fundu app. Okay. So Android mobile users searches Fundu in the Play Store for the iPhone in the App Stores. Also search the Fundu app. Okay. Just in case that you lost this user manual, okay, and you don't know if what is the support app for your smartwatch, the good thing about the the number one DT36 is that here in the settings, the app is or the QR code is already available here. Okay, just go to the settings and here. You can scan this QR code, the Fandu app QR code. So it will go to a link where you can download the support app. Okay. But if you already know the name, okay, if if you are familiar with the support app for the number one DT36, just search it in the Google Play Store. So let's check. Okay, so search. Let's see. Okay, so we have here the Fandu Pro. Okay, we although ha we although ha we already have several apps here. So the Fandu Wear. Okay, but I think this is the app that we need to download. The Fandu Pro. It is the latest app. Okay, we also have here some other apps for smart watches and smart fun smart band okay so we're not going to use the fun wear here as you can see here in the user manual we have this logo for the fan fandu pro okay so let's try to install and connect it with our smart watch so let's try and install hopefully we will not encounter any issues and we will be able to add the smartwatch right away to our support app so the size here is 64 mb with 5 million plus downloads okay that's very good okay so this is the latest app version one let's see so we have 2.0 version let's see okay Are we done? Let's see. I'll check if it's 
Okay, seems like we successfully downloaded the app. Sweet. Okay, we're installing Fandu. Okay, as you can see here, we have downloaded the app. So, open. And, okay. So, here, let me have a closer look. The application Fandu Pro is asking for permissions. So, allow Fandu to access these device locations. So we have at least seven here just allow for photos media and files on your device allow phone calls and likes allow if you're not com if you're not comfortable with the some of the permissions here just select deny allow fandu to make phone to make and manage phone calls allow allow fandu to access your contacts MSS, SMS, pictures and re record video, and that's it. Enable notifications. Fondo is required to send applications, notifications to your remote device. Okay. So we will allow the app. Permissions here for notifications. So Fondo will be able to read all notifications, including personal information such as contact names and text messages let's tap allow okay and let's wait okay so here it's already activated please open the permissions of the suspension frame okay so we will allow it to display over other apps okay so here okay and then let's add the device here so let's look let's look for the settings here where can we add the device here connecting we'll see so disconnect the device I did not connect it anyway let's tap we'll see so we have at least several smart watches here the 22e I think this is the Bluetooth address I don't know or the Bluetooth chip we have 2C15E7 okay you see it here so if you are confused if this is the DT36 and this one is the an, or the, maybe this one is also the D36 let's check it out on the settings of our smartwatch so this is the process and how to check if what is the DT number number one DT36 here okay Again, don't forget to turn on your Bluetooth connection in your smartwatch or in your smartphone. Okay, so let's go to your about. You see it? Okay, let's check here. Some numbers here, the serials or the address. Let's check here on your smartwatch. Tap about and the device address here device name so we have again let's go back so we have 15e7261 okay so we have here the 15e7 again we'll show it to you one one more time see it here the 15e7 and we have here the 15e7 e7 let's stop it to connect okay we'll see okay nice we already connected the smartwatch opening background operation in order to ensure better operation of fundo recommend to enable background running so it will run on the background that's okay okay background so settings auto launch so let's see here no restrictions it's okay okay so that's it so we're connected okay so let's see our uh, fine device let's see if it's okay we have successfully connected our smartwatch 
by testing here the find device feature okay what else do we have here okay unit settings metric inch okay app notifications here let's turn it on allow transfer to push notifications in the background it is still loading let's wait okay so here are the apps so you can pick facebook for the messaging okay so call and sms allow transfer push okay okay so recommended here okay no restrictions so we'll pick no restrictions here confirm auto start you can also set to auto start although most of the time i don't like it to auto start but if you want the stable connection and it automatically opens the app and the connections here for your smartwatch you can set it to auto start okay so let's go back you have ecg detection here analysis here so we already synchronized it so we have here the total steps and average numbers with graphs on the bottom okay analysis also have the sleep also have the profile here you can set your profile we have the steps kilometer and calories okay so that's your fundu pro app okay on how to install your Fandu app to your number one DT36 smartwatch. Okay. I'm still looking for the sections here. So here is for the Bluetooth call setup. Okay. So it's okay. I'm looking for the watch face sections here, but seems like there's no watch face section we'll see in the coming days we'll explore more on the support app the fundu pro support app so again if you have questions regarding the smartwatch please drop a comment below and we will answer your queries goodbye